Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and Apple has just released the third beta of iOS 18. Even though they delayed it a bit for like an hour or so, we thought that we will see this update later this week, but they did release the third beta and it comes of course with a few new features and improvements and a probably a lot of more new features that we will be able to actually discover in the next few days now first of all talking about the size of this update if you're updating from the second beta to the third you will get it at a size about 1.2 gigabytes of course that will always be different on different devices and it should be different based on always from which software you're currently updating now the build number for this beta is 22a 5307F, this is the new build number for iOS 18 Beta 3. And now let's move on and take a look at some of the new features and changes that you will find on the third beta of iOS 18. And we're starting with the home screen. Now Apple has made some changes on the home screen right here. And as you can notice, a few of the third party apps now actually do have dark mode icons and they actually look pretty cool. This is one of the changes that I have been able to notice here on the home screen. Another one is that the other icons that don't actually have a dark mode have like a dark tint on them that actually makes them look much much better with the dark mode icons right here. And you will also notice an updated icon for the Maps app. I believe this is the third time Apple is updating the Maps app icon on iOS 18 and it looks much much better with this version in my opinion. Now another thing you will notice here on the home screen or pretty much anywhere on iOS 18 is that when you take a screenshot, if you go right here to a screenshot and tap the plus button, you will now have this new option right here to add an image description. Now if I tap right there, it will show this pop up from where you can just go ahead and add an image description for your screenshot. Now a lot of users found it a bit confusing on the Photos app on iOS 18. The select and the search button, that was basically one button. It would show search and if you just would like to select, you would have to scroll down to turn it into the select button. But now we actually have two different buttons. Apple has separated those and now we have the select button, but we also have another button in blue for the search. Moving on to the calendar app, as you probably know on iOS 18, you will be able to zoom in and out on the calendar app to show more details. Now we have a bit more zoom options, so you will have a few more levels here. And on each level that you go, you will actually get an haptic feedback that tells you that you're zooming in and out, the way more like zooming options here with the third beta, which is pretty cool. Now moving on into the home screen and let's go to the edit mode here and let's go to customize once again. Now on the tint mode right here with beta with a second beta it was kind of hard to actually pick the color here for the tint now with iOS 18 beta 3 if you tap right here it will just remove everything and it will just show you your wallpaper from where of course you can just go ahead and select any color pick any color you want from your wallpaper and set it as the tint for your icons this is actually a very very nice and a very nice touch from apple because it was actually kind of annoying trying to pick that color with the first and second beta now as you probably have seen right here as of now the icons on the home screen seem to be fixed with the second beta most of the times whenever you would add a different tint or move from the dark mode to the light mode, they would just go blank and you had to reboot your device in order to bring them back. But it looks like they have fixed that problem with the third beta of iOS 18. And that is of course a very welcome change. Also the control center seems to work much, much better. Actually adjusting your toggles here, adding new toggles and everything looks like now is much, much smoother and it works as it should. You can just move around. Previously, it would like readjust them, move them around wherever it would want to. But now looks like resizing and also moving the toggles here on the control center actually does work much, much better.
And for the first time in probably the last few years, we have a redesigned emoji picker. Like you can see, the emojis are more separated from one another. Also, we have a rounded search bar right there for the emojis. It looks much better in my opinion with this design. It actually makes picking emojis much, much easier as you will be able to see them on a bigger size and of course easier select the ones that you want. So these are some of the new features and changes that you will be able to find on the third beta of iOS 18. Now a lot of people will be waiting of course for the public beta to be released as well. Now I actually do expect Apple to release that beta really really soon. That should happen sometime this week. Maybe the 9th or the 10th should be the date that Apple should actually release the first public beta of iOS 18. Now in ju just a few minutes that I had with this beta trying to find some new features, it looks like a big improvement when you compare it to the last beta. So I think iOS 18 beta is actually now ready to be released to the public for testing. Now, if it doesn't happen during this week, then you can expect it probably on the on Monday, July the 15th, right there. That should be another date that Apple might release iOS 18 public beta if it doesn't happen this week. Now, of course, the next release for the dev betas will be beta 4, and that will most likely, according like to, the, to these like past few weeks and how Apple has done things that will most likely happen on the 22nd of July. That should be the date where we see the fourth beta of iOS 18 and hopefully some of the AI features finally coming to devs for testing. And of course, last but not least, should you update or not to iOS 18 beta 3. Well, if you're on beta 2, of course, I suggest you immediately update your device to the new iOS 18 beta 3 because it has a few new features and a lot of improvements. It looks much better than iOS 18 beta 2. If you're still on iOS 17, maybe wait for the public beta to be released. That way you know you're installing a beta, but it's actually enough stable for the public to test it. So if you're not on iOS 18 yet, wait for the public beta. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more iOS 18 videos, and I will see you on the next one.